I think Microsoft Teams is one of the best platforms out there for remote teams. But here's a question. What is the best way to exchange feedback inside it? Is it this? Okay, so let's see how this one goes. So you're gonna give the feedback through chat, that's fine. And okay, so this is about a presentation, apparently. And oh, you're a fast typer. Oh, it's still going on. Stop typing, you're still typing. Nobody's gonna read that. That's way too long and that's way too dense. Would you look at that? That looks more like a breakup text than actual feedback. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure the content of that feedback was perfectly fine, and had it been delivered in person, it would have been effective. But when you're in a remote setting, your feedback cannot be this huge wall of text inside the chat. Here's a better way to do it. So, let me show you how you can use TeamFlect, an excellent app for Microsoft Teams, to exchange feedback at the highest level. I'm clicking feedback, and I can see all the received and given feedback. But, let's check out new feedback and see what happens. Once again, I'm going to give feedback to Adele on her presentation skills. But guys, just see the difference on this. I'm clicking Adele and let's select the feedback template. Uh, and I'm selecting presentation skills. And instantly I have all these awesome guiding questions to help me give clear and concise feedback. And these questions aren't just freeform. I have multiple choice and rating questions in this as well. Oh, and you can customize these questions any way you like. Let's give her an average on this one. Well, on this. Let's give her four stars on here and three for nonverbal communication. So that's important. And voila, I have it right here. And let's see how it looks. Now, on the left side, I see the last five completed feedback about Adele and the pending feedback. And in the middle, we have the feedback we just gave her. Now it's far more digestible than that huge wall of text. And on the right side, I see the description of that template, the request date of the feedback, the submit date, and the visibility of it. Oh, but let me show you something really cool, because this feedback isn't just going to disappear inside Teams chat. I'm going to use it for the performance reviews. All right, let's see Adele's performance review. Let's click on it. And on the right-hand side of Adele's performance review page, I have the feedback I just gave her. And you can do this for any given feedback inside the review period. Guys, your feedback is important, and it should matter in the performance reviews. And finally, let's go to Adele's user page. This is another way I can see the feedback I just gave her. Let's click her Adele once again. And if I scroll down, Look at all this awesome information about Adele. And here, I have the feedback I just gave her. And that right there is the best way to exchange feedback inside Microsoft Teams. If you want to try this out, just click the link in the description to schedule your free demo with TeamFlight. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.